This problem is going to be a problem that involves conservation of momentum and conservation of energy and shows how to take a problem that has multiple parts to it and break it down into the individual pieces. So in this problem, we have a girl who's running and jumps on a sled, slides partway down a hill where her brother jumps on, and then together they slide all the way to the bottom of the hill and ultimately we're trying to figure out how fast they're going at the bottom of the hill. So in the first part of the problem, we have the girl running by herself and then she jumps on the sled. This part of the problem is a conservation of momentum problem. We have initially just the girl, Avery, running at 4.5 meters per second. We have her with momentum. And then when she jumps on the sled, the momentum is going to be conserved. And so we're going to be able to use that to figure out what the velocity of Avery and the sled are together at the top of the hill. So in this first piece, the system is going to be Avery and the sled. And the initial momentum is the momentum of Avery, 42 kilograms times 4.5 meters per second, plus the momentum of the sled, which is six kilograms times zero meters per second. So the initial momentum of Avery and the sled together is 189 kilogram meters per second. After she jumps on the sled, her and the sled are moving together at the top of the hill at some unknown speed V. And so the final momentum is going to be the mass of Avery and the sled together, 48 kilograms, times the unknown velocity V. And from conservation of momentum, we know that the initial momentum of 189 kilogram meters per second has to equal the final momentum, 48 V, and that allows us to find the velocity. So Avery and the sled together are going to be moving with a speed of 3.9375 meters per second when she hops onto the sled at the top of the hill. Now Avery and the sled together are going to slide 3.25 meters down the hill where her brother is going to jump on. So we're going to now look at the idea of conservation of energy to figure out how fast Avery and the sled are going together before her brother jumps on. To do this, I'm going to make the flat part where her brother is standing be my height of zero. So Avery and the sled together are starting at a height of 3.25 meters and they're starting with a speed of 3.9375 meters per second, and then they're going to slide down the hill to a height of zero, and we're going to figure out what velocity they have. So we're going to use the idea of conservation of energy. And so at the top of the hill, Avery and the sled, which together had a mass of 48 kilograms, are at a height of 3.25 meters, so we can look at the potential energy and they're moving at 3.9375 meters per second, so they have kinetic energy. When they've dropped the 3.25 meters, now the potential energy is zero, and they only have kinetic energy. And so this is going to allow us to find the speed that they have before her brother jumps on. So the initial potential energy was 1,528.8 joules. The initial kinetic energy was 372.094 joules. And that has to equal 1 half times 48 times V squared, or 24 V squared. So adding the initial energies together, we have 1,900.894 joules equals 24 V squared. Or the speed is the square root of 79.204, which is 8.899 meters per second. So this is the speed that Avery and the sled have together when they've reached the height that her brother is at. Now her brother is going to jump on. And so we're going to be looking at conservation of momentum again. At first we have Avery and the sled only moving at 8.899 meters per second and her brother is at rest and then he jumps on and all three of them are going to be moving together. So this is very similar to the first part of the problem where Avery jumped on the sled. So the initial momentum is going to be Avery and the sled, which together have a mass of 48 kilograms, moving at 8.899 meters per second. Again, it's important that we're using the total mass of Avery and the sled together. That was 42 kilograms plus the six kilograms for the sled. And the initial momentum of her brother is the mass of her brother times zero. 
So the initial momentum is 427.184 kilogram meters per second. After her brother jumps on, they're all moving together at some unknown speed v. And so we have Avery with a mass of 42 kilograms, the sled with a mass of 6 kilograms, and her brother with a mass of 34 kilograms. They're all moving at a speed v. So the final momentum is going to be the total mass of 82 kilograms times v. So again, this allows us to find that speed that they have right after he jumps on, but before they go down the last part of the hill. The initial momentum of 427.184 kilogram meters per second has to equal the final momentum of 82 kilograms times V, which gives us a speed of 5.2096 meters per second. So now we know how fast Avery, her brother, and the sled are moving after he has jumped on, but before they slide down the rest of the hill. And so now we're going to be able to use conservation of energy one more time to find the speed that all three objects have at the bottom of the hill. And so now they're moving at 5.2096 meters per second. They're going to slide down the hill. And we want to find their speed at the bottom. So to do this, we're going to use conservation of energy and if we call the bottom of the hill a height zero, they're starting 9.5 minus 3.25 meters, or 6.25 meters from the bottom of the hill. And so they have a total mass of 82 kilograms. They're at a height of 6.25 meters, and so they're going to have some potential energy. They're also moving at 5.2096 meters per second, so they're going to have some kinetic energy. And then when they slide down the hill and they reach the bottom, they're only going to have kinetic energy. So that will allow us to find the speed v at the bottom of the hill. So if we look at conservation of energy, we have the potential energy at the height of 6.25 meters, plus the kinetic energy due to them moving at 5.2096 meters per second. At the bottom of the hill, they have a potential energy of zero and then they have a kinetic energy, one half times 82 kilograms times the unknown speed V squared. And so we have a potential energy of 5,022.5 joules plus a kinetic energy of 1,112.737 joules and that all gets turned to kinetic energy. One half times 82 is 41, so we have 41 V squared. And so we can solve this for V which gives Avery, her brother, and the sled a speed of 12.233 meters per second when they're at the bottom of the hill. So doing this problem, we used conservation of momentum to figure out the speed of Avery and the sled together after she jumped on. Then we used conservation of energy to figure out how fast Avery and the sled were going after they fell 3.25 meters, but before her brother jumped on. And then we used conservation of momentum after her brother jumps on to figure out how fast the two people plus the sled are moving. And then they slide down the hill and we use conservation of energy to figure out the speed at the bottom. Each one of these pieces is very straightforward, but you have to understand how to break a problem like this up into the individual pieces. When you have one object jumping on another object and sticking to it and moving together, that's the idea that you're going to be using conservation of momentum. When you have something starting at one height and going to another height, that's where you have conservation of energy. You're going to have potential energy converting into kinetic energy. Again, in this type of problem, you can't look at the entire problem as a whole. The, if you look at the total energy that Avery has at the top of the hill moving at some speed, and we looked at the final kinetic energy that we have at the end, those energies are not going to be the same because when they're jumping on the sled, we have energy that's lost. It's a completely inelastic collision when they stick together. And so we lose some energy in that situation. And so we have to be able to break it up into the individual pieces that are just momentum pieces or just energy pieces to go through and solve the problem and get that the speed is 12.233 meters per second at the very end.